Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. Some news from college football today, uh, from the SEC more in particular, Mario Cristobal, the former Florida International head coach who was fired after this season, will now become the University of Alabama offensive line coach, re replacing Jeff Stoutland, who went to the uh, NFL ranks uh, to be Chip Kelly's offensive line coach with the Philadelphia Eagles. Cristobal as a head coach, six seasons at Florida International, 27 and 47. Uh, he inherited a rebuilding job, to say the least. 2010 and 2011, uh, both were winning seasons for Cristobal at FIU. They had a disappointing 3-9 and nine season this past season. And in what many people thought was a surprising move, uh, was fired by Florida International. Uh, he was with... He got hired by Miami by Al Golden to be their associate head coach and tight ends coach. And about a month later, he makes the move now to join Nick Saban's coaching staff in Tuscaloosa as their offensive line coach. You know, you might say, well, why are you making a video about an offensive line coach? Well, Crystal Ball, I think, is a little bit more than just your quintessential offensive line coach, much like Stoutland was. You know, Stoutland, great coach. They're bringing in Crystal Ball now. Uh, he has strong South Florida recruiting ties, which I think is key when you look at the total package Cristobal can bring. And I also think he's a heck of a coach who should not have been fired at Florida International. We'll see how Florida International does um, in the future, but you know they were nothing before Cristobal, and I would imagine uh, very unlikely there'll be nothing after him as well. So I love the hire of Cristobal for Alabama, first and foremost for the development of their young linemen. Remember, they lose Barrett, Barrett Jones, they lose Eric, uh, DJ Fluker, they lose Chance Warmack. Okay, they lose these guys from the offensive line. Do they have qualified recruits or young players waiting in the wings? Absolutely, it's Alabama. You know, I think by now we know they reload, but still. A good coach to sort of bring the young offensive line uh, group along here is going to be key. I think Cristobal fill that, fills that void good and obviously fills the void of uh, you know the recruiting base and recruiting ties that he has to South Florida, which I think will replenish that um, Alabama recruiting classes for plenty of years to come. Let me know what you guys think of the hire of Cristobal. Um, you know, I, I think it's definitely a lo huge loss for Miami. But a significant gain, I feel, for Alabama and Nick Saban. And, you know, Nick Saban nailed this one, in my opinion. He went out, um, got, I think, the best guy he could have got for his offensive line coach, being that Stoutland left. He nails it. He gets crystal ball. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you think he's a good hire? Why? If not, let me know as well. Uh, guys, I cover college football a lot on here. NFL, I'll be doing some more Major League Baseball stuff too. I, you know, I, I basically upload two or three. Uh, daily sports talk videos a day. So if you subscribe to my channel here, you know, every time you log into YouTube, my videos, when I upload them, will upload right to your feed. Thanks as always for listening, guys, and have a great night.